Hi again, this is us making a steak dinner on a budget. So we went ahead and um, you can go to your any produce. They have great deals, usually like 10 bucks you can get two steaks. Sometimes you can get it for $7. So whenever I see that, I stock up, put them in the freezer. That's what we're doing now. And we get, went ahead and tenderized it because, you know, you want to do that to your meat anyways. So we have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder and we're uh gonna use that simpler the better you, i mean it's cool to get all those fancy schmancy you know peppercorn this and they got all these flavors but i like plain salt pepper garlic powder right daddy mm. so we're gonna go ahead and um barbecue those i'm gonna get started on the uh, gratin potatoes and i'll see you in a minute Hi. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a gratin potatoes, or my style of gratin potatoes, and I do it on top of the stove. And I'm going to show you how to cut the potato, and a little trick to make it go quicker. Otherwise, it'll take, you know, 40 minutes, something like that. So I'm making, cutting the time in half. So I cut the potato in half, longwise, cut it in half again, and I want the potato pieces about this big. And then what I do is I put everything on a plate and I microwave my potatoes for five minutes so it makes it cook quicker. Nothing goes better with steak than potatoes, and I like to have um, some kind of salad. But tonight we're going to do biscuits, garlic cheddar biscuits, and they're going to be the bomb. It's so easy to make. It's almost like restaurant style, like Red Lobster style. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these in for about five minutes. While I'm doing that, I'm going to start on my biscuit mix. So I'm going to do two and a fourth cup of, just go, you know, get your regular um, baking mix. You know, like how you can make pancakes or anything out of it. So we're going to do biscuits today. cups of milk and just stir. That's simple. I preheated the oven to 450. I'm doing drop biscuits. So basically all I do is drop them on the pan and if you if it looks a little bit too like thick just add a little bit more milk. Not too much because you want it kind of thick. I'm just gonna put a little splash. And uh, like I said, preheat your oven to 450. I'll go ahead and put the directions and all that like I always do. But just simple drop biscuit recipe. And what I'm gonna do is add um, about a cup of cheese. I did shredded cheddar. And then I'm gonna do about, I don't know, uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Do a little bit of salt, like about a teaspoon of salt. Mix it all up. And at the end, when I pull my biscuits out, I put butter and put butter up like the last two minutes before they're done. Because they're supposed to cook eight to ten minutes, so I pull them out or until golden brown. So I pull them out and then I butter them. They're so good. Okay. Drop biscuits real easy. You drop them. I like them big and fluffy. I like the big style ones. I don't want a little biscuit. I want a big biscuit. Look at that. That looks great. 
I love the cheddar in it. These are just so easy to make. Like I said, you know, you go to Red Lobster and get them there. Or you can make them at home half the price, right? All right, so I'm going to uh, pop these in. In just a minute when it gets preheated. Got this about two minutes. I'll come back and I'll see you in a moment. I've got potato time. So we went ahead and microwaved our bite-sized potatoes for about five minutes. Those three potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the pan or in the pot. And I'm going to fill it up the pot about halfway so let's think they kind of cooks. About two cups. All right, so that's about two cups of milk. And I'm gonna do about a cup of cheese. So I did processed cheese. Just you know. Can I come inside? I am trying to do something. I know. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in. There, okay, ready to go. And, uh, whenever we do our potatoes we want to kind of get a little bit I'm not saying burn your food but get kind of like a little bit of a burn on the bottom or sticky a little bit because it like gives it flavor it makes it like a grotty taste I don't know how to explain it but it, it really it tastes so good like that I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt in it I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of salt and a little bit of pepper I'm going to let this simmer and I'm going to watch it pretty good. And I keep my um, heat on like five, like medium. I'm still staying. I know you are, Raven. If you want to come in the house, go ahead. Go put your flowers in the vase that you picked earlier. We've been picking flowers. It's so nice outside. Perfect for grilling and doing sticks. Yes, you can. Alright, so we're going to let this simmer for about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes and we'll come back and check on it. Alright, so we're all about saving money, right? Well, one of the things that we do is uh, try to not really buy lighter fluid and we do our own coals and we um, basically bought one of these things. You just start a little fire, put your coals in there, put some chips. Daddy, what kind of hickory, ch did you say hickory chips? Hickory. Hickory chips, that's what we're going to kind of flavor our steak with. Um, so that's what we do. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to go back to the kitchen now. And uh, I'll show you about the egg rotten potatoes. All right, he's going to go ahead and put them steaks on. Yay! He went ahead and spread the coals around. You Yay! like steak, don't you? And we're going to cover it up and let it sit for how long, Daddy? Five minutes. About ten minutes. About ten minutes. And we're going to come check on that, too. All right. Let's go look at those. Okay, so I was looking at my uh, potatoes over here. Stirring them a little bit. Seeing the uh, consistency of it. And as you can see, it's like really kind of frothy. And we're just not, we're not there yet. The potatoes are, you know, soft, but they are getting in all that cheesy flavor. And I think I want to put a little bit more cheese in it. that you have it's not an, always an exact you know you got to kind of feel it out because you might have a little bit more potato at that time or carrots or meat you know you just kind of got to have to roll with it but so far we were on a cup now I guess we're on a cup and a half of processed cheese and I went ahead and did about a half a cup of cheddar because at the very end when it's almost done I'm going to want to put cheddar in. so we're going to stir this and let it sit for a little bit longer. Go ahead and check on these biscuits. Just look and see. Mm -hmm. I'm getting good. Not quite done yet. I'm going to have to do the poke test in a minute. Alright, well, I will see you in just a couple minutes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and check on the biscuits. Poke test. Poke. They're done. Okay. I went ahead and took about 
I don't know, three, four tablespoons of butter. Mix that with some garlic powder. I'm gonna put it on top of my biscuits like so. This is so good. Smells great, tastes great. Turn my heat down over here. See, cooking is multitasking. <laughs> and I kind of want it to burn a little bit on the bottom because it just gives us this great smoky flavor you are going to love. See how it's like frothy? But we want extra sauce. We want it because we want it to be kind of creamy. And the potato is going to absorb all this. And the leftovers you can put on top of your steak like a sauce. Biscuits. My biscuits. All right, I'm going to go ahead and butter the rest of these. Pour it on top of there. Make sure it's all saturated. These are so good. And sometimes you can add a little parsley if you like to it. And then you just leave them set for a little bit for all that to absorb. And we'll come back for whenever the potatoes are done. We're going to go ahead and check on those steaks. They were looking just the way they should, so he went ahead and flipped them. And how do you check on them, honey? How do you know when to flip them? When they start getting good color on the back. So... There you go. Let me get the marks like that. Flip them. <laughs> All right, we're going to go check on them. I'll grab potatoes again. Okay, so I want you to see the consistency of this, how it's kind of like soupy a little bit. Some of the potatoes are broken up. That's kind of what I want. You got the big chunks, but I kind of like that broken up bottom stuff because that's what we, we put on top of our steak. It's kind of like a cheese sauce, potato -y. It is amazing, you've gotta try it. And you can't be here to smell this, but it kind of has like a little bit of a burnt smell, but it's so good. It's like, that's what you're wanting. Where like, if you could see the bottom, whenever you go to wash your pan, all that crap that you gotta scrape off, yeah. That gives it flavor. That's what you want. It sucks to scrub your pan, but it's worth it, believe me. All right, so what I'm gonna do, turn it off. I'm going to take it off because I want it to cool down. Take it off and I'm going to put this cheese on top like this. That's it. I'm going to leave it because it's going to like get hard and do its thing. And he's going to go take off the steaks so we'll see you in a second. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take these steaks off. I like my medium well. So we usually do that. Almost done. Isn't that what it is, medium well? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plate it up, and then I'll show you in a moment. All right, we're back, and we're going to plate it up. I'm going to go ahead and take one of my steaks. I'm perfect. All right, and this is the look that I'm looking for from that gratin. See how I put like the cheddar on top? It sat for a minute. It's a little bit, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it out, put it on the side. And I love this sauce for the top of the steak like that. It is amazing. You have to try this. So good. It's just great. One of my big old fluffy biscuits. And how is that? Isn't that great looking? Let me put some more potatoes on there. 
I should have put like a green on there. I should have got like a salad. But isn't that great? Going to a steakhouse, this is a great meal. So you have it. It's for me. Come visit my site or my show. Watch all these different, wonderful, easy, cheap recipes to make. It doesn't even take that long. See you later, alligator.